Hey guys, it's me here, Pooh Bear 253, working on the double, being a very busy reborn mommy here. As you can see, I have little Miss Oriya right here on, uh, on my hip, on my left hip, and I have little Miss Cadence in the carrier. I'm cooking for the week. Uh, we're, we're having red beans. Well, I'm having red beans for next week um, and I am just trying to keep all these babies happy and just loving on all of them that I can I'm here in the nursery again just coming to take a load off just for a second how are you guys doing this Saturday I hope everyone's having a great day um, <clears throat> I am just about done with my red beans gonna pack that up and um, Hopefully, I'll be able to come in here and chat with you guys. Um, I would like to do a changing video. But the baby that's up in order is Lola. And she looks so cute in her outfit. And I don't really want to change her out of her outfit. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll just come and chat with you guys. So, stay tuned. Say bye, aunties and uncles. Okay, so hi guys, it's me here, Pooh Bear 253, and it is uh, approximately like 1024 at night, and it got a little late, but I really wanted to do this video before the day is over. It is Friday, January 18th, and I found out today at the end of the day on Instagram, shout out to Pooh Bear Nursery, Pooh Bear, Pooh Bear Nursery on Instagram. She shared that today is Winnie the Pooh Day, like it is recognized on the 18th day of January is when Winnie the Pooh first came to life or whatnot. And I just figured like I couldn't let this day go by without making a change in video and I'm going to be changing one of my babies into a Pooh Bear outfit, so stay tuned. So I'm back here with Mr. Fasirian. He's my sweet baby boy that I created for myself using air dry paints uh, that I acquired in a class that I took at the Rose Doll Show. And I honestly do not want to change him out of this outfit because he looks so cute and I didn't want to change him out of it. Um, but I, um, uh, I just don't have any other choice. I just have to 
change him into something um, for the Winnie the Pooh day that's today. So I just thought that was super cool. I just think this little outfit is so cute on him. This little explore outfit. Um, oh, I don't want to change him out of it. I think I might put the little explore outfit back on him right after we're done. And he is the Daisy Sculpt. I know he's a bountiful baby kit. I forgot the artist at this time. Um, something totally awesome happened today that I thought was so super cool. I'm probably going to put him back, put this outfit back on him, but we'll see. I saw another Reborn Mommy at Target today. Can you guess who it was? Oh my goodness, can you guess, can you guess? I'm going to insert a picture right here. So, I'm sure you guys saw that I saw Dolly Love X3, Miss Tamara. She was roaming around in the makeup section at Target. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness, hello. <laughs> and, and so we kind of hung out, went in the baby section and hung out for a little bit. And it was like a little impromptu reborn mommy meetup that we weren't even expecting. And I was telling her how it was must have been fate that I was supposed to see her because we wasn't originally headed to Target. That just popped in my head at the last minute. You guys know I have been saying how, you know, I've been avoiding going to Target because everyone has been saying how they've been finding all these awesome deals and Target and whatnot. And I'm like, nope, I'm not going. I'm not going to even give myself an excuse to like, you know, go and buy stuff that I know I don't need and whatever. But I was like, Ugh. I was like, well, honey, I was like, if it's not super, super cute or whatever, I'm not going to get it or whatever. And so I just wanted to go pop in real quick to the baby section. And there were a few things that Walmart didn't have after we did our grocery shopping that I wanted to. Um, they didn't have my milk. They didn't have hubby's milk. And they also didn't have my envy apples. So we were going to Aberson's because... Last week, I got Envy Apples from Albertsons, and they were so good. Envy Apples are so delicious. If you have not had an Envy Apple, it's E-N-V-Y, Envy. If you have not had an Envy Apple, you are not living. You are not living your best life, I'm just saying. Envy Apples are so good, y'all. I absolutely love Envy Apples. They are so sweet. And just, uh, they, I know they gotta be genetically modified because they just taste so good. Nothing natural tastes that good, I don't think. Anyway, it's gotta be some artificial stuff going on there. For sure. Okay. Alright, his little diaper he has on already has the little bear paws on it. Bear prints. I'm just gonna keep that, I'm just gonna keep that on. Like I said, this little shirt is like a little newborn shirt. He's got Viserion, the daisy um, scope, has some thick arms. So, like, newborn stuff in the arms is like super tight. But not, not like skin tight, but it's, it's pretty tight, as you can see. So, I probably will just keep this Winnie the Pooh outfit on him. I really like this little outfit here that I'm taking off. Um, he's the second baby that's worn this outfit. First baby that wore it was actually Dason. Um, my um, e, Imani 
sculpt um, for a little bit. And I just really love this outfit. And I got it from... Um, this is Little Wonders. I can't remember. Oh, I got it from Sears when it was closing. It was a Sears closing when we went somewhere. And I bought it. Where's the other sock? Oh, there it is. So, like, it is bedtime. I am washing clothes currently. Um, I kind of try to get a jump start on washing clothes and everything uh, so I don't have to do so much as much as many loads in, uh, t tomorrow which is Saturday and um, I am cooking chili beans this week it's getting cold this weekend we're, su we're supposed to have a really bad thunderstorm coming in tonight Ugh. there we go but yeah so I kind of gave it away so if you guys didn't realize like in my last video I was saying hey there's a Reaper mommy that moved right like around the corner for me that's who it is um Dolly Love X3 is literally five minutes from my house and I think that is so awesome and I definitely see us hanging out like a lot a lot more now that she's even closer and whatnot so I think that's cool so I have already invited her over I just told her like whenever you want to come over just let me know and we'll hang out so that's super cool so he is rocking his I was made in Louisiana and technically he was because I reborn this little guy because I had these little onesies here for other babies and whatnot. This is only good for babies with um rooted hair so that the hair doesn't catch. But now his head is just kind of catching on it. Oh man, what was that? Oh, some glasses. Some sunglasses. I'll get it later. I really love this angle. This way, like, you guys can just see the baby's face and hear me chat and whatnot. And hear my cats meowing in the background saying, Oh, mommy, oh, mommy, let me in, let me in. So, while I snap up his onesie, I'm going to give you guys a quick little pause and go grab a few more things that I'm going to need for his outfit. Whoops, I'm so sorry. I'm shaking you guys all around town. So, I went and got some hand mittens in yellow. And I got two of these sweet little Winnie the Pooh socks. To go with his romper and I also got a little crocheted Winnie the Pooh hat so I'm not sure which socks I'm going to put on him just yet but I'm going to go ahead and slide his little hand mittens on like so there we have it No worries, little dude. I will be out in just a little bit. Just wanted to make a quick video for my YouTube folks. So, the romper is red, white. Well, Winnie the Pooh's shirt is red. And the romper itself is white. And the stars look black or gray. So, there's no blue in it. But these also have orange. There's no orange in there either, so I'm like, eh, I think I might go with the blue ones. <sighs> so let's go ahead and get this little romper on. Well, I'll go ahead and put the socks on first. Let me see. I'm, let me um move you guys down to his. Oh, whoopsie, whoopsie. My bad. Sorry, y'all. Let me move y'all down to his feet. You can see me put on his little sockies. 
Oh my goodness. I have on my my jammies. If you can see me. Can you see me? No, you can. Wait, what happened? I had it over here and it moved. Oh. I don't think that's gonna stay like that. Let's see. Oh, it's sliding this way. It's still moving. What's moving? Okay, the little ball is moving. Okay, I see. Let's see, can I tighten the little ball up? Mm, okay, nope. Okay, let's see. Let's try to move it here. How's that? Is it still moving? Feels like it's moving. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, you guys. Here we go. I think. I think we're good for now. Okay. But I don't know. Like I said, if you guys can't see me, I have a little gray sleep dress on with all the little kitty cats of the zodiac. So we have a Sagittarius, Aquarius, Taurus, Aries, a Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, the twins, <laughs> the Aquarius, oh you can't see it, but the Aquarius kitty is drinking some water. <laughs> so cute. Oh, this one. Yeah, it's right here, but it's upside down, but the Aquarius kitty. Is drinking some milk, but I would say water because Aquarius is a water sign. So I'm just getting his little socks on. I hope my little boy lasts. Um, I'm trying to take good care of him. I was watching Miss Serenity Smith live last night, and she asked me what part since I started reborning, like. What do I obsess over? Like, what's my favorite <laughs> favorite thing to paint? I'm like, I don't like any of it. It's complete torture. And I don't see how y'all do it. <laughs> I'm only happy when the baby is done. And that is it. And that is no lie. I tell the truth, baby. I do not like reborning. I really think that maybe I would like it a little bit more if I had a more comfortable place to do it. The only place I could do it is at my kitchen. And in my kitchen, the chairs are not like on the ground. They are raised. Um, they're like high chairs. And my legs dangle. And it hurts and starts to cut off my circulation on my legs. Because my legs are kind of just dangling there. And I can't sit and do that for very long. And like it's like not a good position for sitting for a long time. You know, we only sit there to eat breakfast. That's like a good 10 minute thing and we're done. So trying to sit there for hours upon hours is definitely not, not the best. Okay, so we're done with the feet. So we're back up here again. Let me see, do I need to scooch it over a little bit? Okay, there. I'm going to need to put another thingy right here. So I just don't scratch this up. I think I'd already scratched yeah, bit a little bit right there. So I really need to be careful. Hold on for another second. Okay, I'm back again. I have to put a blanket on my changing table where I clamp the um where I clamp this little um holder thing because it'll it scratches the paint off and I don't like that so I put a little clamp uh, uh, a blanket there to protect it because it already scraped the paint off down on this end a little bit not horrible but you know I noticed it and took action and covered it before it got too bad 
So I just had to come on and represent for Winnie the Pooh Day. You guys probably won't see this until tomorrow the 19th, but I am recording it on the 18th. And I just think that's so cool. And I actually saved it in my um, phone for like for it to repeat every year. So I'll know next time. So I'll be prepared and I'll probably get like one of my girls and one of my boys dressed. And the piece de la resistance. The icing on top of the cake. The cake is the hat. Oh my goodness. And we're going to tie it so it stays on. Oh my goodness. He is so adorable. <laughs> I love these hats. I got these hats from Kelsey of... um. Daydream, was it Daydream Reborns? Something, something. It was a lady in the community, I think. She still pops on from time to time. But she crocheted. Wait. Wait, is that right? Kelsey's Daydream? No, something's not. No, that's. I may be getting the, I may be getting the person confused. But I do think her name was Kelsey, I think. I could be wrong, though. Don't quote me on that. Kelsey's daydreaming or something like that. Alright, I'm going to put those clothes up. So, let's take a quick gander. There's my little handsome man. He has on blue Winnie the Pooh socks. And they have like a little yellow swirly at the top of the socks. And they have the cute little Winnie the Pooh, of course, with his little red shirt on. And he has on his uh, long sleeve romper. It's white with little black or blue or gray stars. It's dark and I can't really tell. And has Winnie the Pooh on there. The little baby Winnie the Pooh. I love the baby Winnie the Pooh. So cute. And he has this super cute little crochet hat like i said i will always keep these i got these like when i was fresh in the community fresh oh yes a lot of babies have worn this um uh, let's see eudorus wore this and briar wore this little outfit I've, I've, this is a little H&M romper. I've had it for a little while now. Um, they had a, several little cute Winnie the Pooh, like a little Winnie the Pooh short set that I wanted. Kimberly had mentioned it to me and told me about it, but by the time I got to it, they didn't have it in newborn size left. I was like, oh man, I would have gotten that. But anyway, and stay tuned tomorrow because... We have some love mail, love mail. We have some love mail. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed our video. And we will see you in the next one. Mwah. All right, guys. Peace. Bye-bye. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. weekend mashup. I am here. It is me, Pooh Bear 253, and you guys are in the nursery with me and Mr. Viserion. The first day uh, of this video was Friday, and it was January 18th, Winnie the Pooh Day, so last night I got Mr. Viserion changed into this sweet little Winnie the Pooh themed outfit. And you already saw this already. He looks super duper cute. And we are here this morning for another piece of our weekend mashup. Um, share with you guys some love mail we received from Latoya, definitely me. Um, 
So yes, you guys can check her out on YouTube. She makes videos and shows her beautiful babies, Jace and Kennedy. And oh, your new baby. Oh, I forgot the name of your new baby. Uh, but yes, she has uber sweet babies. And you can also follow her on Instagram. She is just a big old burst of rainbow and color. And she is very, very sweet. So, and she uh, wanted to send the babies a little love mail. So I'm going to just get right to it. Oh my goodness, so she's really crafty. So she made the baby some bracelets. So this one is a preemie. It has beautiful little white and gold little beads on that one. Here's a pretty blue one. And it has um, little rhinestone, like little, um, what's that called? Like little, they're not beads, they're like little rings. And they got like little rhinestones on them. Oh, and here's a pink one. It has pink, uh, pink, um, <laughs> but, uh, shoot. Uh, what is this? <laughs> What's wrong with my brain? Oh my goodness. Um, I just had a very healthy breakfast, so I should be good to go. Um, beads. It has hot pink beads. And some little rhinestone little beads. There's five rhinestone beads in between um, the two pink, hot pink uh, beads. Oh, this is pretty. Is it black? I think they're all black. I think, let me look at my light. Yeah, this is all black. So this would be cute for one of my boys. Set them over there. And this one, oh, that one's like a rainbowy, um, like metal bead. You guys see? It's like a rainbowy effect to them. Pretty. My camera's doing a good job focusing. It does, uh, it focuses on the back camera. The front camera, I think it does all the focusing. And this one is, it has five yellow beads and two gold beads in between each yellow bead. That's what that one looks like. So my babies have some bracelets. And this is another preemie one. So um, this one is for Tyrion and it is white and blue. It has, it kind of varies. Let me see. Let me see, that has two, two, no. Oh, I see now. Okay, so it's this one here, and it's two, two, and it's three of the little blue ones in between two of the white ones. Cute. Let's see. Oh my goodness, uh, there's something in here for me too. And here's one that's just all silver. Whoops. All little silver beads. That could be for a girl or a boy. And look, I have a pretty little bracelet here with teal or um, turquoise color. Like one is like a lighter turquoise, another darker. And it has some little silver, silver, silver bead like little doggles in between. Let me see. And I have some earrings. Oh, look at the hearts. I love hearts. That's so cute. I love the packaging, girl. You can sell these for sure. Let me see. I'm going to try the bracelet on. Is this? Okay. Ta-da! Check it out, guys. Cute. This has the Syrian wear one. I'm going to put the glass one on here. Super cute. Thank you so much, Latoya. Again, go check her out. And definitely me. On Instagram and YouTube. And she just wanted to send the babies a little love mail. Because she is so crafty. There we go. So the Siri is wearing his. Say thank you so much, Auntie. Mwah. 
Alright guys, we'll see you a little bit later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. How cool. It's a train. Is it coming? There it goes. <laughs> We're on our hump day hike and the train is going around. How cool. <laughs> That's so neat. It's like a little old town. It's got a saloon. That's so cool. I love it. <laughs> that is so cool. We got a jail, a bakery, or a bar. Which one? That one. All right, the bar. Barber. 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 Look how cool. That's so neat. Okay, let's watch it come by one more time. Choo choo. Got the little western music. I love it. Choo choo. Go train go. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. Ah, oh, neat. There's hubby right there. We're on a hump day hike and we are downtown. Hi guys, it's me here, Herlanda, also known as Pooh Bear 253. So, I think I'm ending the little weekend mashup today. If you're wondering why I'm sour and melancholy, This could give you a hint. <laughs> but we are still who that? Who that? We are still who that? Forever and ever. The referees cheated us? They cheated us? I don't know how many of you ladies and gentlemen out there watch football but I do represent my Saints and they cheated us I say they cheated us I've been trying to hold this in I took a little while to decompress I had to decompress for a minute but they cheated us out of that game we were on our way to the Super Bowl but we lost we lost by a field goal in overtime. I'm gonna be over, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be all right. Just give me a minute, hold up, just give me a minute. Oh my God, oh my God. I said I wasn't gonna do this. Hold it together, hold it together. Well, that's it. That's it. The Saints are out. Stupid. 
Rams are going to the Super Bowl and cheating pastors. Okay, I'm going to compose myself. Just give me one more minute. Let me pause. I mean, there you can't see my cat ears. There they are. Okay. I took a few deep inhales. And I'm trying to hold it together. So, today is Sunday, January 20th. Today is the day that my husband and I first met 16 years ago. I posted that on Facebook and Instagram. Happy gotcha day, babe. Uh, yeah, it's a good day. It's a good day. We ended up um, going to a few stores today and I just got just t three things t technically, but Two of the things is the same thing, but just different patterns. But I'll I'll show you real quick what I got. So I saw these uber cute pacifiers. Tommy Tippy, newborn, the little heart there, and the little pink puff ball or whatever. And I was in TJ Maxx and saw these Hello Kitty socks. And there were two different designs. So I got both of them. Because I'm a Hello Kitty junkie. And I deleted my outro by accident. So I'm going to have to re-record another outro. So... I don't know what the um, outro is going to be for this video. I thought I would be able to come and talk to you guys, but uh, we just kind of stopped watching the game and just we're, we, we took a few minutes of silence and then we watched the passage, which is the pilot episode that we recorded last Monday. We just watched that just to... Um, get our minds off of the um, the horrible the horribleness that we had witnessed earlier today um, it's currently 7.32 here and uh, yeah so um, let's just sit this back down over here let's do that alright We did that, so we have Mr. Elijah Cole here. He's still my saints baby. And we will represent for the Who Dat Nation. <sighs> Forever and ever. It just would have been so sweet had we won this game. We would have won that game had the ref saw that blatant pass interference. Yeah. And we could have just got that first down and just milked that clock on out. Yeah. And we could have won by three. Or maybe we could have gotten a touchdown. That would have been great or something. But no. No, they didn't see it. They, they obviously were like guest stars in the bird box or something. Had the blindfolds on and uh, just couldn't catch it. Yeah, okay. So I'm feeling quite hostile. So I think this probably won't be the end of my little weekend vlog. I'm just going to add it in there. And hopefully tomorrow for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, we will celebrate that great, great man. And all of the wonderful things he's done for us and our, and our wonderful country. Yeah. So maybe I'll come back tomorrow in better spirits. But as you can see right now, I'm pretty perturbed. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Ten. Eight, 
10, 9, 8, 6, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hour. All right, so uh, I'm just going to go um, <clears throat> uh, get ready to fix my protein shake for dinner. Hop in the shower. And I uh, hope you guys are having a great Sunday. All righty. Uh, I'm going to hopefully see you guys tomorrow for a few minutes, and I'll close this out with maybe a quick little changing video or outfit of the day or something better than this because I am mm, really out there right now. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. It was nice chatting with you for a minute. Talk to you guys later. Mwah. Peace. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody. It's me here, Pooh Bear 253 and I am here to go ahead and wrap up this um, weekend mashup. You guys, uh, I was a bit perturbed yesterday, but I'm feeling much better. You saw that in the last clip, but this is going to be the um, final clip. I had, I plan, uh, shucks. I had posted a few polls on my YouTube community tab and I wanted to kind of review the results with you guys. Um, okay. Oh, darn. I can't see that on my tablet. That is so silly. Why don't they have that on the tablet? Oh, man. I can't even review it. That is so silly. Aww. I wonder why they don't have it. Like, if you go to the community tab, it's not available. I can't pull it up. I can only pull it up on my um, on my uh, cell phone, which I'm recording with. So what I'll do is, uh, I think I kind of remember them. Um, I'm gonna backtrack, and I posted a poll like uh, last week or so, saying like. Um, how do you prefer to cover your little baby bums? So basically, like, what type of diapers do you use? And I do remember that the winning um, answer was store brand or, like, you know, a dollar uh, store brand, like, off brand. Those were the winners. For me, I cover my baby's tushies with cloth diapers. That would have been my answer. Um, another one I asked, um, was, would you still make YouTube videos if you could not monetize them? And I think the winning one was, yes, it's not about the money for me. Um, uh, I think that's what the winning one was for me. Mine would probably be, blah, blah, would probably be... Yes, but not as often. Um, but like I said, I don't really do videos that often now anyway. So I really feel like if I didn't, if I couldn't monetize my videos, like I probably would post more stuff on things that I can keep private, um, like Instagram and Facebook. Like I say, if I'm not getting paid for it anyway, what's the... I'm, <laughs> I'm just like, what's the point of putting it out there? I could um, be a part of the community on Instagram, you know. But like I said, I wouldn't completely stop. But it definitely wouldn't be as much for me. Because it's, um, I mean, I enjoy making the videos and whatnot. Um, but I really just do it just so I could be a part of the community, really. Um because most people that I interact with are on Instagram and YouTube uh, for the most part. I mean, not YouTube, Instagram and like, well, Facebook, not really. Like, Facebook is more for family. But I don't know. Eh, I don't know. I really don't know. I guess you really can't really answer those questions 100% truthfully until unless it actually happens. But I feel that I would pick the second answer 
Um, there was another one. Hmm. I can't remember exactly what it was. Let me, um, think for a few seconds and, um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed our little weekend mashup. I haven't changed any more babies. I hadn't really wanted to change anybody. Uh, only baby I changed was Viserium for Winnie the Pooh Day. Um, and yeah, shoot, I really wish I could get to this on my tablet. I don't understand why they don't have that on the tablet. They hadn't come out with it yet. What was the other one? Hmm, you know what? How about I, um, we're gonna stop and then I'll go back and see and I'll be right back. All right, so I am back. Whoops, sorry, I kicked it. And I was incorrect. Um, the winning one was, yes, I will still do videos. My um, videos aren't monetized now. So that was the winning one. The other one I had asked you guys was, um, how would you describe your daily life? And the winning answer was semi-structured. I have a daily routine, but it changes often. Mine would definitely be the first, um, the first answer, structured. I have a routine that I follow religiously. That is me. I'm the first answer. And the other uh, poll I had up was, how do you like your baby's hair? Like, which do you prefer? Which do you prefer? Rooted hair, painted hair, combi hair, bald, or I love it all. And the winner was I love it all. Mine, oh my goodness. I don't think I could do the bald look. I don't think I could do that. I mean, I probably could, but I would prefer some type of hair. And if I would have to choose, I would have to go with really nice painted hair. And like maybe second would be maybe like a combi hair, even though I don't have any babies with combi hair. But Tyrion does, but his hair is his hair is painted and is rooted on top of that. But you can't really see the painted except for like here or whatnot. But because like I don't like, I don't really interact with babies, with my babies that have um, rooted hair because I'm so frightened of ripping it out or it getting damaged and you know combing it too much so i'm not gonna cuddle them as often because i don't want their hair getting messed up because um it completely has me frazzled when the hair is messed up so um i like for the hair to always be nice and neat so my option would probably most definitely be painted hair and second under that would be like a combi hair with like painted with like a little mohawk or something on top for a boy or something like that but i haven't um gotten a baby with combi hair yet hopefully way down the line once the house is paid off i have told you guys that i am very interested in julia from off reborns to redo me a cheyenne um, and I would like her combi hair and also I want Yogi to redo my precious gift and he can possibly have combi hair too. I would like that as well. Two babies with combi hair, boy and a girl. Um, and like I said, I've just been enjoying my three babies that I painted for myself. And also Viserion, but Viserion will stay. These three will uh, be phased out. I'm just enjoying them now. Um, I really don't care if anything happens to them so I can hold them. I can cuddle them. I can change them. All their paint can fall off. It don't matter. I didn't really pay for it. I made them myself. But I am very um, cautious with Viserion because I do want to keep him. But the other three, I'm always holding and playing with them <clears throat> like this little guy i have had him with me all day long uh from yesterday until today i'm always holding this little boy and this is my Arden. and like i say when i do get them redone they will keep the same names it's going to be the same babies but very nicely done so that is 
my plan for that. Um, so I think that was all of them. So thank you so much for um, participating in my little uh, polls and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I was, um, I guess not, I mean, I guess not really surprised by the answers and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I keep trying to think of new things to come up with and chat with you guys about. Um, let me see anything else before I end this video. I'm going to open up my Hello Kitty socks and pair them when I, um, close this out. Today is... Um, Martin Luther King Jr. Day um, and my hubby and I were off we just finished eating lunch I had chili beans because today is Monday so technically I need to eat because we don't have anything else but anyway I cooked chili beans for the week so I had that and he had a wrap with some chicken and cheese and such and some lettuce in there with a little salsa and um, I had chili with some crackers and that's what I'm going to have the rest of the week um yeah so coming up not this week but next week is my birthday my birthday is january 31st i will be 36 years old yay um so i'll be um ordered my cake and i have a cupcake cake this year so it's the face is a Hello Kitty and it's cupcakes. I can't wait to dive into those cupcakes. And we already have ice cream because we had gotten ice cream for something for that cookie. We had one big cookie left for Christmas or whatever. And we had used that. But anyway, we still have ice cream left. So, But we're going to have ice cream and cupcakes. And hubby is taking me out to a awesome dinner Saturday. My birthday is Thursday. So Friday, Saturday, February 2nd, I will be going out with hubby and whatnot and yeah and after that we will enjoy valentine's day and then after that mardi gras and after that easter slash spring break and after that it's summertime again where i'm so happy so many of you um will be enjoying the doll show ah say la vie i will not be going unfortunately for the next couple years but Sometimes you have to sacrifice for a little bit to save up for a lifetime. I don't know. That it, did that make sense? <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> like I say, this is our sacrifice time. And once we're done, like everything's going to be a okay. But I think I'm rambling now. I am going to bid you guys adieu so I can get this video up. It's going to be super duper long. So make sure you have your snacks. Well, this is the end now. So hopefully you had snacks and are was painting or rooting. Or I'm happy that I was here to keep you all company and whatnot. But um, I think that's it. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this day I have off. It is 2.15 currently. So I'm just going to go back in the living room, uh, catch up on some shows we recorded on the DVR. And after that, shower and get ready for work in the morning. Yay! It pays my bills. I have a job. Yay! I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to you see I'm trying to boost myself up you see you got to go into it with a positive attitude whatever so once you go in positive you stay positive maintain that positivity and just everything will be all right all right you guys I'm so excited for life I'm excited for my birthday excited for a whole bunch of awesome things coming our way uh stay tuned I don't think I'm going to be doing these weekend matchups every weekend probably won't be doing one next weekend um, but yeah, um, may come and do like a change video or something, but who knows? I am just kind of like, whatever. Um, so that's it. Um, I think that's it. I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoy your day off if you're off today. Relax and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Peace. Bye-bye.